Hello guys from OpenGate, everything is fine with you? With us, everything is okay. Today we have a case of laminitis and this case here it's going to be on two hooves. That our dear Renato is going to proceed on them. And guys, if you're not subscribed on our channel and like this type of content, let us your subscription, activate the bell so you don't miss a thing. Let us your like because it helps us a lot to continue doing this type of work. And for beginning, we will start cleaning it. And after that, we will start the process of hoofing. We know that Renato, his professionalism, will be a lot capable of doing it successfully. You can see how much leftover was necessary to be extracted it from. Guys, let for us in your our comments down below from where are you watching this video? We would like to know where are you from and where are you seeing this content from where it's written out it, these videos. Guys, so look the leftovers that we have on the hoof. Calm down, girl. This is a mare with a very serious problem. This is chronic laminitis and it has been a while since Renato has come to handle this animal and even another professional has already come to carry out this work to take care of her in this maintenance and today they called Renato to come do it. And she is already in a rather difficult condition because the hoof is a bit big, so she's feeling a lot, and it's very complicated for the animal because laminitis is a very painful disease. So she's limping a lot, isn't it, Renato? That's it. Uh, the guys has seen this on the video. 
And well, she keep with her hoof supported. It's being very complicated. That's why she's pulling the hoof a lot. And many times in these conditions, the limb is already sore without having to make a lot of effort, just because of the size of the hoof. You see that as I manage to set her more relaxed, she becomes calmer. But it's a very difficult case to be working. Let's do the cleaning. Guys, as we were talking about, this animal suffered a lot because, well, there was a period that she remained just lying down for long times and she suffered a lot. And the hoof itself has improved a lot and has grown, which is good. So, there are some peculiarities on the formation of the hoof that are not a good result and ended up getting in the way. It's a little difficult to fix but as you handle it you can better align the hoof hoofing a horse is no longer easy but hoofing an animal from nidus and pain is much more complicated and complex because we feel it too and we feel sorry for the animal but there's there is not much to do here. It is just like that. We already made a hoof and I already had a wet shirt. So no other hoof was already done and well it took like twice as long. Let's put a horse hole. Check it out, the horse hole placed on the two hooves here. Well, an excellent Renato's work. It's an amazing how different the hoof that was all flattened and now has another angle and much more comfort for the animal. So that's it guys. Now let's wait for the next hoof things, the next moments that we're gonna put horse hole to see the evolution. As I told you to leave, well it was a mare that suffered and that kept uh, like laying down due to the very serious chronic laminitis and see how her walking has changed you saw her walking in the beginning and how it turned out now we're going to stay here subscribe to the channel share this video and until the next video god willing our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard